This is Gunner with On The Brink Games bringing you round three of the Slivers and Company video series. And it looks like I won the die roll, so I'll be on the play. <clears throat> okay, and I'm brought with a tricky one. It looks like it's a one-liner with a Gale Rider Sliver and Mana Weave Sliver. And a bunch of two mana spells. Rub Decay is pretty much uncastable, but... I think this is a mulligan, maybe on the... Yeah, I think that's a mulligan. Really want two lands. Uh, this hand is, I guess, a keeper. I mean, it's not great, but it's not horrible. Um, I'll just lead with Forest into Aether Vial. Doesn't really give away much. I guess I uh, could be playing the Death and Taxes deck with this start. All right. So mountain, nothing. It's interesting. Uh, definitely, we'll just play that and pass the turn. Have no plays. Uh, drawing another land is kind of nice. So I have collected company. Bolt me or something. Oh, uh oh. Playing against uh, good old. Um, what's it called? That one deck that's pretty good. Um, uh, the one that brings back creatures, combo deck, sort of combo deck. Man, what? Why can't I remember that spank card? Anyways, everyone knows what I'm playing against. Uh, besides me, because I obviously can't remember so pretty annoying. Uh, I guess I'll go ahead and play Siphon Sliver and just pass the turn and see what my opponent has for me. Sack. Oh, Steam Vents. Oh, is he playing the twin version of the deck? Oh, that's interesting. Um, I had seen that version of the deck. I don't think it's good. I think the actual just straight up combo version of the deck is a lot better. Um. So yeah, I want to use the ability. Go ahead and play that. And so now, in response, I can start sacking some stuff and destroy some permanents. Which is pretty sweet. I also can play Mana Weft Sliver and still have mana, pretty much, to do all those things. Now the thing is, do I attack just because I have Mana Weft Sliver? I don't think I attack, actually. Um, because I do want to activate the Necrotic Sliver. We'll see if he does anything. So he did nothing, that, which is interesting. Um, okay, cycling here. So I guess in response, he could have... But I think in response, I'm just going to go ahead and... Play Necrotic Sliver. Add mana. And destroy that in response. Um, now he could have Simeon Spirit Guide here to go off, which would be a very sad day for me, but I think I have to go for that. I guess he... Uh, I guess I should have done it in his upkeep. I kind of messed up there. I forgot what phase we were in. I didn't have a stop in his upkeep, so. Before his draw step, so. He can still do it, but I guess I get uh, Siphon Sliver back. <laughs> I guess. Um. Now, if I get to untap, I'm definitely going to just destroy the steam vents and leave him on one mountain. And go the denial part. Okay, well, he drew another land, so 
I don't get to do that. So, forest. See, cascading. Okay, violent outburst. Okay, so. Nothing I can do here. Living end. That's the card that I couldn't remember. And I'm going to say no to Aether Vial. Gale Rider is interesting. I'm going to probably just attack for two here. And hopefully I could race. <laughs> I'm not sure if I can, but we'll see. Um, maybe I should have sacked a different sliver. Gone about this a little differently. Splinter Twin, okay. So he is playing the Splinter Twin version. What What does this code actually do though? Enters the battlefield, deals three damage to a creature with flying. Oh my goodness. How insane is that? That's neat. That's a cool cool deck. Um still think the actual version of the deck is better, but I guess that is something. Okay. So now I attack with Gale Rider. I now have a collector company, which is nice. Um, don't think it's much. Uh, in the case of like protecting my guy because even if I hit two plus one plus one counters it will still be three damage so it will still die so or not plus one plus one counters but two uh like see new spire spot uh, bleh, slivers <clears throat> and I guess now in his attack step I can go ahead and collect your company So I did hit those slivers, but like I said, it's not like great. Cause I could double block, but I kind of want my guys to survive. Nope. I uh, drew another collector company. All right. Well, I think I'm just gonna use that right now. Oh, is this lethal? Maybe? Blur Splatter and Sedge Sliver? I think so. Now, if he wants a living end again, I'm totally fine with that. Oh, looks like a one. Alright, so. Woo! Because, yeah, that's lethal. That's beyond lethal. So, I'm playing against the living end. Um, I think making my creatures indestructible doesn't do anything. Um, Eruptacate's pretty bad. Um, I think my guy's unblockable is fine. Harmonic Sliver is probably decent. Um, making me be able to sacrifice my creatures is great, so I'm going to have Dark Art Sliver. I'm going to cut my Eruptacates. And I'm going to cut a... What else do I want to cut? Probably a Sentinel Sliver or Diffusion. Let's go. Yeah, let me just cut my Sentinel Sliver. And let me submit this deck and see if I can win game two against Living End. Um, I'm on the draw this time, so not where I want to be. Uh, if I talk about last game, I got pretty lucky, I think, with those draws. Um, being able to uh, go into a plus one plus one with haste and just have lethal is great <clears throat> we look at this hand which uh, I can play one spell and you'll need to draw some lands to be able to play my other spells 
So I think it's a mulligan. I mean, yeah, I think that's a mulligan. I guess this is better. It's not much better, but I do have a sacrifice outlet, so that is nice. Harmonic sliver, okay. Does he have Thought Scour? Oh, okay, just cycle. So he's going pretty fast on the cycle plan. I'm just gonna go ahead and name Sliver and go ahead and play my Dark Heart Sliver. Which it can't be countered, which I don't think he wants counter spells, but he could. Definitely could. Um, so this gives me my sack outlet. Which I mean, looks like he's filling up his graveyard pretty well. So even if I am able to bring stuff back, his stuff is a little better than mine. But he is losing some life, so I guess I could get try to get an alpha strike in there somehow. Yep. But, like I said, ooh, makes me sacrifice. Uh, so I lost my sack outlet. No! Which is fine, I guess. Not the best, but it's what I will have to deal with. Oh. No. Because it's <laughs> oops, yeah, I didn't realize it's a doom blade, but my creature is black, so my opponent uh, said, "Oops," which oops indeed. So that actually gives me a great opportunity here to hopefully not just be super dead. All right, I get to attack for four. Now, some people may say like, oh, in real life that would never happen, but I definitely think in real life that that definitely could happen. Um, I definitely can see someone just going, oh, you know, um, play my Shriek Maw, target that, because he, he knows what Shriek Maw does. He knows Dark Heart, and I would say, yeah, that resolves. But let's see, non-artifact, non-black creatures. So I guess a judge could be like, well, that's not an illegal target, and let him take it back. But a competitive REL, uh, I don't think that would happen. And if it does happen, I probably I'd be pretty upset. Um, and I'm sure any opponent that let that happen would be upset also could play Diffusion Sliver or I could play Collected Company which I think I'm just gonna go ahead and Deceiver Exarch okay so I guess he could have Splinter Twin which is man it's gonna, it's gonna be so rough Makes me wish I had Harmonic Sliver out there right now, but I don't. Alright, well, if he's got the twin, hopefully this Collected Company is great. He has drawn a lot of cards. Alright, Splinter Twin. Does my collect come to resolve? It does. And uh, well, wasn't the best. Um, hmm. I could make him go through the process of everything, but I'm just gonna concede. 
I'm not that kind of person. Um, but yeah. So that's kind of brutal that he just had it. So I'm going to put in my Hermox Sliver. I don't think bringing a Repticade is really going to help me there. Um, but I kind of like Telekinetic Sliver now. Um, Siphon Sliver is still decent. Um, I kind of want my Sentinel Sliver back. Yeah, all those are still great. Even with his... So I probably cut that sledge. And I guess I cut that one. And... I guess the Fusion Sliver. Because it's not great. I can bring back... A Telekinetic Sliver. Oop. Yeah, let's go ahead and do that. And I would love to play first. And... Yeah, I'll keep this. It's close, but if I draw another colored source, which I have a lot of in my deck, it definitely could get there. Let's play Hermox Liver and not get, and then have Collector Company also. Which is great, and Necrotic Sliver to start sacrificing stuff if I need to, even though I do need to sink in a decent amount of mana. My opponent's thinking about Mulganine. Uh, his hand must be very close. Must be like a one lander with cycles. Um, I don't know. I've never played Living In, so I don't know if that's a keep or not. Um, definitely probably feels like one. Maybe no lander with double street wraith. And he's like, I'm on the draw, so I could get there. <laughs> uh, I could see that. Um, So he mulligan six, and then he kept. Alright. I do not have a turn one play, so go ahead, sir. Um, Aether Vial out there would have been awesome for me. Would have been the bee's knees, actually. Copper Light Gorge. So now I drew the Aether Vial. Aether Vial, which I'm going to play instead of playing my Predatory Sliver. I think Aether Vial is a little more important right here just because of what his deck can do with Splinter Twin and I want to be able to Harmonic Sliver in just in case he tries to go at me with Splinter Twin. And I would love to put a counter on there. Alright. Because I'll play another a while. And I'll play my Predatory Sliver. And I'll pass the turn. So now I want to draw land. Land would be awesome. Putting counters on both of these. Yes, and yes. Drew that land I was talking about. Probably just attack for two. Alright. Hopefully he just doesn't get me here. Like, Deceiver Exar, get you, and we're like, oh man, please, please don't do it to me. He didn't do it. Whew! And I'm not tapped out, so it's close, but definitely could see him doing something like that. Maybe he wanted me to activate my Muta Vaults. Not 100% there. Okay, opponent's not doing anything, which is interesting. I'm going to put counters on both. Yes, and yes. All right. I think I just go ahead and... 
attack. So now I have collected company, but I also have necrotic sliver up, so things are getting more complicated as the game goes on. Um, he's down to 12, so he's getting pretty low in life. He hasn't been cycling. He only has two cyclers in the yard. Um, so maybe he's just waiting to pull the trigger on his... So he has to see for Exarch. Okay. See what he wants to target here. He wants to target that Aether Vial. Which I think in response I'm going to put in Hormonic Sliver. Oh, I have to, wait, I have to use it? Uh, does that mean I have to use it? That's interesting, I don't want to use it. Ugh, that's so gross. That's so bad for me. <laughs> well, whatever. That was, that was aggressive. I don't know. I don't know what to say that. It sucks. <laughs> Didn't know I had to use it. Evoke. Okay. Um, okay. I think he's played a land this turn. Definitely could have Serene Spirit God again. Which definitely would suck. He's probably thinking about attacking here. But one damage is nothing. So I don't know what he's really thinking about. Uh, maybe he's thinking about how he died in game one to collect a company, collect a company. I mean, I'm almost certain he has Simeon Spirit Guide, but I don't know how his deck plays all of those cards. I'm definitely going to attempt to play this Collected Company now. Uh, if I go Sentinel, Sentinel... Gale Rider makes me go over the top. Oh, Sanu or Sentinel. Mm. I think Gale Rider actually. Because I can't pick Telekinetic Spider, or I would. I would not like to use Aether Vial's ability. I would like to name Sliver. Pay three. Can't do it. That's three, three, six, nine. Oof, this is close. So I can go for lethal. white black and I won all right well he didn't have it he did not have the simian spirit guide so that is 
the match, folks. Uh, thanks for watching. Um, let me just see here if he has Simeon Spirit Guide there, um, and he cascades into Living End. He gets Shriek Maw back, uh, so he gets three creatures back. I get just Hermonic Sliver, which dies to the Sh Shriek Maw. Everything goes to the yard, but I do still have two Muta Vaults. Which, if I hit good on my next draw step, I could still win. Um, but definitely, I'm not in a favorite position. But yeah, so there's that. Thanks for watching, guys. This is Gunner with On the Brink Games. Stay tuned next week for the next video series.